Okay, so I went to Lidl this morning in the hopes to buy a few items from their Greek range. Absolute classic, of course they don't have that range now. It's like some Spanish range now, so if you guys want me to try that, put it in the comments below, but I went there in the hopes to eat Greek food, because I've had Spanish food before, not Greek. But I've seen this massive kebab in there before, and I thought, why not get that? It's £4.99, and the protein on it is fucking ridiculous. So I thought I would make a kebab, and then the rest of the meat just munch how it is. This is frozen, so we're gonna chuck this in the oven. Let's look how big this is. Also, shout out to Paparoni, because he actually made a kebab, and when I bought it, I thought, yeah, I might as well make one as well. So so go check his video out where he makes a kebab. Let's get this in and go outside and catch some rays. Sick time lapse, bro. It is done. Absolute unit. The smart thing to do would be to wait for it to cool down, but I, I can't be asked to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna try and cut it now and I'll probably burn myself. Ow. Oosh. Ooh. And we've got all these juices in here too. I guess we take the skewers out, right? Yeah, man, unless you want to eat them. Ooh. You can just hear it. It's not like a, like a beef joint or anything. I'm not going to try cutting into slices. I, I guess we'll just see. A lot of it's just going to break apart because it's been cooking for a long time. I don't even need the knife, to be honest. These end bits are going to be the best bit. I do not even need a knife. It's just falling apart. There's so much meat, man. I believe it's like chicken leg pieces. Chicken leg pieces coated in a spicy peri peri marinade on bamboo skewers. Look at all that meat there, bro. That could feed a family of five. Look at that, boy. Wow. Let's go upstairs and put together a kebab. So I've got everything I need in front of me here. Soft pitters here, whole milk, cause you know, a bit healthier. Cutting and all that to keep this down. Smash it. Apparently they're easy to fill. Yeah, definitely as easy to fill. And it's got some shitty Sainsbury's garlic mayo. Now let's just put it together, there's nothing else to say. So here's the nutrition up on screen here for it, per like 125 grams. This was £4.99 for the pack of meat. Nearly, it's nearly a kilogram of meat, for God's sake. For God's sake. You think you buy like a 200 gram steak, probably for what? Cheapest, pound 50, two pound. Absolute cheapest. That's the same amount of protein as like 100 grams of this. So it's insane protein. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to put the fan on. It's, it's 33 degrees. Okay, so I've got lettuce, onion. So we'll start off just squirting some garlic mayo in there. I'm just gonna close it, just so it kind of goes on both sides. Some lettuce, I think this is iceberg lettuce. And some onion. Usually when you have a kebab, they would just give you raw onion. So I was like, you know what? I'll go with that. I'll, I'll do it as well. Time to fill it up with some meat. Oh shit, the side's broken. At least, even if this breaks, should be good for the thumbnail here. Just meat sticking out. Oh, meat. Let's munch. Now this does have a few chilies on the packet. Some things says it's spicy, it's not. I reckon this actually will have a bit of a kick. Just realized probably won't be the same as beef. Yeah, maybe because you're eating a different animal then. Or if it was like a normal pitta. The meat is so tender. It was even frozen as well, so it's not done bad. It's starting to get a kick. There's a little close up there of it. Getting a bit of the garlic marrow now. Protein filled. Yeah, definitely getting the kick. Getting a bit of the lettuce and onion, making it taste more like a kebab. I, just, I think, really think at the bottom, I'm just gonna get onion and lettuce. For whole meal, you know, and for it being like a B-Tech kind of kebab, it's, it's not bad. It's like a little fake away, it's actually really good. Could have actually done with a bit of spice. Should have got some Frank's Red Hot, but I can't be asked. Subscribe. It's holding together really well, actually. The chicken is really tender. Just to me, I thought it would have a bit more flavour. <sighs> Yeah, I saw just fucking lettuce and onion at the bottom there. It's hard because I didn't want to put too much onion, too much lettuce, too much garlic mayo, and too much meat in if it's just going to fall apart. All right, let's just get a nice bite of this here. That is just skin off fat, so I'm not going to eat that. I left the juices downstairs, so I put it in. It's like a spot that's 
God damn it. Not as spicy as I thought. You get hints of spice sometimes, like... Nice tender chicken though. So I thought this wrap would have tasted a bit better, I don't know. Let's put a bit more in here, you know. Squeeze it right down. How am I gonna bite that? See that bite there of a bit of everything. That was really like boss man shop kind of esque. It tasted just like it. That's more like it. They they would usually put the lettuce and onion and stuff on top, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. And then they'd round the meat on top. It's nice when everything's involved. What I can tell you though, is that it's certainly healthier. And from that half, I probably took about half the meat there, a bit, a bit less. I only got that bit of fat or skin. But I'm gonna go get a bit more meat to eat now. So see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back with some more chicken and I've got the juice. Oh, will it make it spicy? Is this for all the spices? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some chicken. Just dip it in this juice here. Thing is like when you marinate and stuff, a lot of the juice will come off, so you have to keep topping it. Oh, that's just oily. No, that's not where the spice is. Oh, I'm not going to touch that. I think that's just a big bit of fat there. Doesn't hit the same as Nando's, but... Hmm, you will consider what it is. $4.99 the meat you're getting. You know, if you already have a couple wraps, a bit of lettuce, mayo, hot sauce, whatever, all you've got to do, go in a shop, buy this for £5. That could sort your whole family out. Salted. Honestly, I'm really surprised with the amount of like gristle and fat I'm getting because there's really not much at all. It must have just cooked off, I don't know. You know, if I did it again, I'd probably add some more hot sauce on top. Yeah, I would have actually seared it and got some more seasonings well, on I top. I keep pouring the juice over, but this top bit had like a bit of plastic over it, so it didn't say anything about, didn't say anything about adding the juice on top or... In Sainsbury's and other stores should do something like this. Like a, it's like a box of kebab, like a donna meat or something, you know? Go now sit here and edit this in this bloody heat. Oh, let's go. Really enjoyed that. That was the really more. flaming hot chicken king kebab. I wish they did a beef one. I don't know if there would be, but that, that would have slapped in that pit because it's more like, you know, you put the beef in the pit of bread, really. That yeah, would have worked a bit better. But see, now I'm getting a bit of a kick. I, it, it comes and goes. I think there's little random chilies in there that give me that, that spice. Spice. Fucking hell, that was like ASMR. Yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow the TikTok, follow the Twitter, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.